I want to cheat so badly. My husband has been lying to me since before we got married. First story my husband of 25 years had an affair with his boss, a famous singer who hired him to play guitar in her band. He knew her for three months before he left me and our nine-year-old son. That was last May. He moved out the same day he told me I had made him miserable for years, and that the trauma of my sexual assaults were the reason he went looking elsewhere for a physical relationship. The shame, self-loathing, and gaslighting that followed left me gasping for air, but I still had to wake up every day and be a parent to our child. One day, the woman he left me for reached out to say if I ever felt like processing this with her, she was available. Nine months later, I am ready, and I have a lot to say. Second story I was the cheater. I had been with the same guy for four years and it wasn't going anywhere, but I had a very bad feeling that he wasn't going to let me out of the relationship without a good reason. I had tried many times before to break it off, but he always came back, saying he'd change, and I stupidly took him back and believed him. He never did change, but I had. I wanted out. So, I cheated and told him the next day what I had done. He broke it off, crying and screaming at me that I was a whore. I haven't seen him since. I know that he shit talked me to all of our mutual friends, which caused me to lose pretty much all of those friendships, but it was a small price to pay. I felt like I couldn't get out any other way at the time, I was only 18, and I was too ashamed to admit it to anyone what I was going through. I have since grown up quite a bit, gone to therapy, and am married. Never cheated after that only that one time I was in a long-term relationship with my boyfriend and we were living together when I found out we were expecting a baby. The night before my first prenatal appointment, he went out to celebrate with his friends. His phone was off all night and I was super worried. He showed up at the doctor's office on time, but was reeking of alcohol and covered in cookies. I broke up with him right after that appointment. Anonymous after two years of dating my ex, we started having a lot of issues in our relationship. It became really clear to me that we were simply not a good match, but I still felt like maybe we could work things out. My co-worker, who was always a great friend to me, became a sort of confidant, giving me advice and talking through some things with me when my ex and I would fight. He'd even grab a drink with him after work when I was upset. Even though it started out totally platonic on both of our ends, I realized after a couple of months that I was developing feelings for him. One night after getting drinks we hooked up, and I ended things with my ex about a week later. The hookup was something that opened my eyes to how little I was invested in making my relationship work. I'm not proud of cheating on my ex, but I don't think that this sort of thing should be vilified as much as it is. Sometimes my ex needed to end. Four years later, I'm still very much in love with my co-worker. We're a much better match than my ex and I were, and I'm the happiest I've ever been. My ex has moved on as well and seems quite happy with his current girlfriend. Anonymous.